Hello, I am Aussie Villain and welcome back to Aston Villa Raise the Halt. Uh, as you can see, since our last game, disappointing loss to Sunderland, we have uh, bounced back pretty well, I would say. Uh, we hosted Wolves in our next game. Um, this was an even game. Wilson scored a really good goal after half time. It was disappointing not to hold on to it, um, that lead, but. To be fair, it was an even game, and I think a draw was just about the fair result. Then we went to Bolton. Now, Bolton really, really gave us a game. Um, as you can see, it was really tight. Uh, Adoma, I think, the, the, got the winner uh, just two minutes after they had equalised for the second time. Um, there's a lot of mistakes in this game, and ultimately we had the better players, and that is the only reason that we won. But Bolton really gave us quite a game. And then uh, Hull. We went to Hull. We were... We were fantastic this game. Um, as you can see, our front three, Adoma 9, Wilson 8.8, .8, and uh, Green 7.9, they were superb. Um, they got a counter-attack goal right on the stroke of half-time, um, but we couldn't have responded better. Right after half-time, within a minute, we were, we were equal, and then we just pressed on from there. I did have a slight change in the tactics, which I'll go through in a second, but that really worked. So I'm hoping that now that, we, uh, now that we're facing Reading, that that's going to work for us again. What that means for us in the table, though, is that we're two points up on Bristol City. You can see there's a gap there of 11 points to third place, which is Reading, who we play today. So if we can win today, then you've got to say automatic promotion is on the cards, and it may well be secured later this episode when we play Norwich if we happen to beat them. Um, so this, as you said, is a really, as, I, as you said, this, as I said, is a really big game, um, so let's hope we can get a result. Now, a little bit of news to catch up on. We have qualified for the playoffs. We can now no longer finish seventh, uh, so hooray, we're in the playoffs. That means uh, that our season objective has been met. Even if we don't win another game all year, the the club probably isn't going to sack us. Um, though, I would sack myself if we didn't make the playoffs from here, or didn't get promotion from here, I should say, if we lost every game. Uh, other news to catch up on. We have done a little bit of transfer business. What we have done is we have signed a left back who hasn't come in yet. Uh, here he is here, Dimitri Mitchell from Manchester United. He's currently on loan at the other mob, uh, but we've liberated him, so that's okay. As you can see here, very pacey, um, 17 uh, pace, 18 acceleration, decent going forward as well. The weakness for a left back, obviously tackling of 10, um, so strength and stamina isn't great, teamwork isn't fantastic. The reason that I've signed him is that assuming that we get into the Premier League, we're either going to be playing a lot on the counter-attack or we're going to need some pace out wide. So that's what he's going to offer us. Um, we paid 200000 for him, I think. 250000 raising to 350000 I think it was the gains if he plays 50 games or whatever the clause was there. Uh, I think that for the money, he's going to be a really, really good signing. And as I said, given that we're going to be counter-attacking a lot, he's going to offer us a lot of pace out wide. So I'm really happy to pick him up. And the other news is that John Terry has a new contract. Uh, the reason being is that... As you can see, we've got his wages down to 28 grand a week. He's on quite a big appearance fee. I think uh, it was 16 grand appearance money and then 16 grand clean sheet. Now, the reason I've done that is that if he doesn't play, which I don't think he necessarily will play a lot, then we're not going to have to, we're only paying him 28 grand, which I think we, for what he offers off the field, um, I think that will work. And then if he does play and he plays well, then will pay me six extra 16 grand. I think there's a 16 grand clean sheet bonus as well. So we keep clean sheets. He can make the money. I think that deal works for us. And then we'll go from there. And the only other piece of news to catch up on is international injuries. We've lost Snodgrass for three weeks or up to three weeks. And we've lost Hogan. Uh, I think it was a similar amount of time, um, which isn't ideal, especially at this time of the year. But, oh, he's back soon. He's not as bad as Snodgrass. So it's not ideal, but we can cover it because we do have we do have Grealish and we have um, Andre Green to play the left now, so that's okay. And Wilson is banging them in up front, and we do have Keenan Davis in reserve. So this is the tactics that we're going for today against Reading. Now, as you can see, we've brought Grealish and El Mohamedy in to play wide. Reason being, it's only we've only had the one day sort of clear, but since the whole game, there's only a two game two day gap. So a little bit of freshness out wide. 
Uh, El Mohammedi also offers a little bit more defensively than Adoma, so hopefully that's going to work. We're playing Lansbury in a deeper role instead of Diamati, and we're playing Whelan for Horahan. Horahan needs a bit of a rest, um, so Whelan is a, a sort of a bit of defensive player as well. Now the changes that we've made tactically, uh, we're, we're closing down much, much more, and we're getting stuck in. That's obviously harder on the legs, so freshening it up in midfield as well is going to help with that. So that being said, we can get on to the Reading game. And I'm really hoping that this episode we will have secured promotion and then it's just going to be a shootout between us and Bristol City to actually see who wins the league. Okay, so this is what they're going for. Now the scouting report says that they are a counter-attacking team and you can see it looks like they are going to play very defensively. Uh, many of the players appear to be distracted by overall positive atmosphere. So I think calm is the way to go here. Um, I expect nothing but a win to keep our good run going. Let's go calm again. This faith, yes. I feel like the team talks is a bit of Russian roulette. Sometimes you just don't know what you're going to get. Okay, we are at home to Reading. Let's do this, boys. Alright, here we go. Promotion on the line. Of course, if we don't happen to win this, it's not going to be the end of the world. We do still have quite a nice gap, and the games are really running out very quickly now, so... I think promotion isn't going to be the issue. I, I think we've got that in the bag. It's, it's whether or not we win the league, and that is... Bristol City is just they're relentless. They're going with us every step of the way. Yadonak on a card so early is not great for a ball-winning midfielder. Grealish has picked up an injury. Super shoot him as soon as possible. Well, that's not great. What have we got here? Elphick flick onto the back post. <laughs> It wasn't Lansbury, it was Alan Hutton. What has happened here is it Lansbury must have taken a touch off Hutton as it went in. But that's okay, we'll take that. That's brilliant. So we'll give them a concentrate. Do we ha Maybe we can bring... I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll bring Diamati on for Grealish and we'll play him as a wide playmaker on support. I think it's less important the closing down wide. As long as he kind of will track his fullback if and when they go forward, then that should be okay. No, we don't need that. We are dominating them. Now, what the obviously worries me is that they are a counter-attacking side, so you would expect to have the ball and possibly shots on goal. It's the Amati got here. It's on... Oh just not quite the whip on that one. Yeah, I mean, a one goal lead with a counter-attacking team is never ideal because it's just that one misplaced pass, that one mistake and that that could be a goal. It's weird that they're not playing a striker at all though. They've only got Swifts and attacking midfielder. I mean, you wonder quite what what their plan is with that, but that's okay, that's not our problem. That's half time. Well, that was a pretty boring half, but we have the goal, and that's the main thing. Now, Bristol City is only drawing at home. Uh, Fulham is losing as well at home, so this, what's the other mob doing? Oh, there they are, they're winning. Okay, well, that's not great, but they're not really our problem. I think they are quite a ways behind at this point. Okay, so we do we go with a calm, you're capable of better. That seemed to have worked. I was made to feel a little bit better about the loss to Sunderland in that their manager, who I think it was uh, Lawdrop, 
um, but their manager got manager of the month, so they were on they were on good form. So we weren't the only ones to fall victim to to Sunderland. Of course, the performance was the was the issue with that one, though, wasn't it? That we were we were poor. So I would like to see a little bit more from our front guys here because they haven't they haven't been great so far. But with the way that Reading has their midfield and defence packed, it's not not really surprising. I can't believe Hutton got given that goal. That was Lansbury's all the way. Um, okay, let's see if Reading will come out to us a bit more because if they sit back like they did in that half. I mean, they're going to have to do more, aren't they? As long as we don't make a mistake, which we have in us, let's face it. We've all seen our previous games. All right, Omahamedy. Ran into a corner. All right, shut him down. All right, this, this worries me a little bit. I am feeling the nerves. Long ball over the top. That's past Terry, and it's a goal. That's that's that was the fear, wasn't it? Maybe we maybe we should have stood off them a little bit more if they're going to counter attack. Maybe I'm being def tactically naive in that one. Yeah, I mean, see, that's the problem with Terry, isn't it? As soon as it goes over his head. There's just no catching up. I am wondering. I'm get, looking, as I said last episode, to who we can sign for next season. I think a pacey full uh, centre back. Yeah, the knack. Oh, not quite there. It's going to be tapping. It's going to be <laughs> Well, it was scrappy, but we got there in the end. It was actually a really nice piece of play. Won the ball, once the ball ricocheted back from the other next shot here. El Mohamedy, that was a really, really nice first time ball in. Elphick couldn't miss. Okay, so we're not going to make the same mistake again. We are already slightly deeper, so maybe we don't want to do that. Maybe we should just we'll stand off them a little bit. We'll stand off them a little bit. We'll play a little bit narrower. And maybe if we'll look to counter the counter attack. We don't have to score again, they have to score. So if we can draw them out, then all the better for it. Alright, now we need to defend this free kick. It's ricocheting around, they've got one back. How soon is that fifth? That's like a minute later. Our defending from free kicks at times this season has been a lot. I mean, it's we've got a little bit unlucky there, haven't we? But all right, let's give them a we'll give them a encourage. And then we'll just go back to what we had. We'll go back to balanced. Oh, it's really frustrating. There's an absolute flood of goals at the start of this half. I don't like Taylor being complacent at left back. That's never good. All right, come on, Diamante. What sort of magic have you got in your boots this time? All right, back to Lansbury. Lansbury, infield to Wilson. Wilson's... A, oh, it's Whelan. Sorry, I need new glasses, apparently. Whelan, back out to Taylor. Taylor to Lansbury. Forward first time to Diamante. Ball into the box. El Mahabedi, what have you got, son? El Mahabedi! <laughs> His first goal for the club. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. This was some really, really nice build-up play. Pinging it around. It's like watching Barcelona. Decent finish at the end, too. Alright, let's go with a... Concentrate? Concentrate's probably the way to go here. It's saying... I mean, Wilson, he's saying... His rating isn't good, but I don't... 
know that he's had that much to do. I wonder... Oh, okay, let's not concede again. If we blow a lead for a third time... Good tackle, Hutton. Get in front of him. Oh. Alright, I think... I think that could be it for Taylor. We'll bring Delat on for him. We do have De Cagli on the bench, but we've all seen... the abomination that is his recent performances. We'll keep him on support. I was looking at Delat's... Uh, that his stats, and he's actually... quite good. I'm wondering if we should maybe look to use him a, bit, a little bit more often in the central defence. He's he, uh, Speaking of pacey defenders, actually, he was... He was such a thing. He did actually look, look decent. All right, let's encourage. No, concentrate. Just see it out, boys. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. This is. Oh no. Clear. Is that it? Blow up. Blow up, ref. Blow up. Yeah! There we go. For once, a deserved win. They came back into it in the second half, as we expected. A little bit more of the ball for them, but... I mean, look at those shots. We were raining them in 13 shots. Only five on target, which is a little bit disappointing. But this time of the year... That's fine. That's that's a win, and that's all we wanted. I think we'll have to tell Wilson he was a little bit disappointing. But it's all good. It's all good. So let's see what that does to the table now. The other mob won. Bristol City won again. They are just relentless. Okay, so Fulham lost as well. So that means we're 14 points clear. Six games to go. If we win our next game, we could very well find ourselves promoted. Uh, so I will we'll just quickly play through to the Norwich game, and then we will hopefully get this promotion party started. Okay, welcome back. Uh, as we said, we have the Norwich game to come here. Uh, a win and other results going our way. This could put us up. Uh, now, some small changes to the squad. Uh, we brought Horahan back in for Whelan. Green for Grealish, because Grealish picked up that knock, if you remember, in the last game. And Adoma for El Mohamedy. Um, El Mohamedy is unlucky, actually, because he did play really well. But Adoma's been doing it for us all year. So we've brought him back in. Now, if you remember, when we played Norwich earlier on in the year, we got absolutely mugged. Uh, it was a 1-0 loss at home. And it was a 93rd minute goal. So we do owe them. And this would be a very good time to get our revenge. Uh, come on, lads, we have a chance to push to the Premier League here if we win. Uh, so we have a good one, play. Hmm. Let's expect a win. The expect a win seemed to work for us last time, so... We'll go with that again. Though I already regret not saying we could go up to the Premier League with a win here. I, I feel like that may be a mistake not to have gone with that. Alright, we have a tunnel interview. These are always terrible. Conceding a goal. Okay, so their keeper's on a run without conceding a goal. Let's go with that. It'll be tough. If you're asking for the cycle, potentially skip promotion. If it happens today, so be it. Not, not a lot of, haven't spent a lot of time thinking about it. All right, let's do this. So it's going to be uh, an interesting off season for us. I don't know if you guys have any thoughts on who we should sign and where. I have stick outed uh, the central defenders that are a bit more. Oh, yeah, oh, Yadanak. Oh, I almost jumped out of my skin with excitement, let's say. Um, yeah, I've been scouting some centre backs. Uh, Tyrone Mings is available from Bournemouth. 
relatively cheap, uh, just over a million, I think, and he has really good pace. So I'm one, but he's more of a left back than a centre back. Ooh. So I'm wondering that. I'm wondering if we should try going to three at the back for the Premier League and play wing backs. But then I don't know where we'd fit a Doma into that. And Grealish and Andre Green as well. Oh, get it out. We we spent the week in between uh, working on our set piece defending. Um, so that showed off there clearly. Yeah, I don't know if we should maybe look at going three to the back with wing backs and two strikers up front. Uh, that other formation that I do have as training though not playing with this season. But then, like I said, we have so many good wide players that I feel like that that might not work for them. Win that back. Yeah, the knack. What a beast. Of course, the downside to Terry signing that new contract is... When do I tell him that, yeah, the knack's captain next year? All right, Adoma tripping over Hutton, getting each other's way. There, Hutton is now horribly out of position without the ball. My phone is going off. Oh. Alright, what can we do here? Take your time, Adoma. No rush. It's a good tackle by Teddy. So we're not playing badly, we've had more of the ball. Let's maybe give them an encourage. Oh, what have we been doing all week in training? I mean, it does make you wonder when you <laughs> say, let's practice our set piece defending, and we've looked worse than ever. That's right, we just won't concede set pieces, easy. So we've got some motivated players, that's good. Green's not having his best game. It was, we had Diamante as well. I don't mind him in that wide playmaker role, actually. He does... does look okay out there. Elphick... Oh. I'm sure he had that under control, but... I think I'm just... end of season nerves. It's squeaky bum time, as Ferguson would say. No, it's not even really. I mean, we're... 14 points clear or something, 11 points clear. Oh, is that a penalty? He should be livid because even if it shouldn't have been a penalty, what a stupid thing to do with him running away from goal. All right, come on, Johnston. You can do this, son. Any time now. All right. Come on, son. It's only Cameron Jerome. Ugh. Oh, what do we do here? Encourage, I guess. No, we don't need to see a penalty again. All right, come on, Horahan. What have you got? Horahan magic. Help it! Go! <laughs> Tommy Elphick with the instant response. What a goal machine he's turned out to be. What a header. Fantastic response. That settles the nerves a little bit. Taylor's having a, not having a good game again. I wonder if uh, if it's time to bring DeLat on to play at left back. Because he did do well for us earlier on in the year. Albert Adome has lost possession, but yeah, the knack. The God Amongst Men has been winning it back for us. Alright, other mobs winning. Which I think that could halt our promotion party. Who else have we got here? Bristol City is drawing, but so are we, obviously. Reading is drawing. I think it's going to be the other mob if they win, if we can manage to complete the comeback here. Maybe an assertive not happy. And then Taylor will give him a calm not happy, but I'm thinking... Oh, who I That was Terry. Never mind. At least Terry's still fired up. Alright. 
with City drawing, Bristol City drawing, it would be a this you know this could be a, a four point gap if that result holds and we can get a winner. But I mean they've been relentless. You almost expect them to win, which is what puts the extra pressure on us, isn't it? Ball over the top. Is that Taylor or Terry just standing there watching? Good save, Johnston. Terry there to be the hero and clear it away. At least his walker got back there in time for the clearance. All right, we've been practicing this, boys. Oh my! Oh, have we won a set piece header yet? All right, another encourage. Neil Taylor has about five more minutes to do something, or else he'll be coming off. All right, Wilson into Green. Green across for Horahan. Hit that, son. Hit that. Hit that. Go Connor Horahan, he's just a wicked, wicked weapon from outside the area like that. How many goals has he scored in space like that? What a goal that is. So if we went, it said there we went up back to first place, which makes me suspect that Bristol City had taken the lead. Right, Taylor's shown some improvement. Do we keep him on? Wilson hasn't had much of a game here either, has he? All right. Let us make some changes here. I think if we will try bringing Davis on as a target man to hold up the play and I think the lat for well he's 6.7 now so he's he's coming back he's playing okay so famous last words we'll let him stay on we'll just make the change up front there's a lot more to come from you I think if we can just sort of hold it up maybe we'll get more possession and that will actually work for us in the long run Yadonak is knackered and on a yellow so let's switch him out for Glenn Whelan standing ovation for the great man as he leaves the pitch so good thing about having Whelan as well is that I mean you you can interchange them Yadonak is obviously stronger from defending set pieces but we're rubbish at that anyway so let's not worry about that it's a good ball in is this the counter attack Oh dear. Oh, they're queuing up. Oh, what's he shooting from there? We got away with that from pure selfishness. Let's give it a tighten up. We just need to see this out. Alright, is this it? Is this... Is this promotion secured? Adoma's on a yellow. We've played our four minutes. That's it. That's a good win. Now we wait and see if that is promote. Is there a way to? Where's the table? I don't know whether. All right. We'll, we'll just have to bite our nails. That's a good comeback. I'm really happy with that. Though I feel like we will be de practicing defending set pieces again this week somehow. Wilson. Oh, we're getting it. He's so streaky. He deserved to come off. Yeah, the knack. You just had a rest. You were brilliant, as always. All right, so let's see what this has done for us. We haven't secured promotion, or else it would have come up there. So we are now... It was Birmingham's win, those bastards. Master my head. 14 points with five games to go. So, it's not official, guys, It's but we are 14 points up with 15 points to play for. If we get a point, if we'd have to lose out and Birmingham would have to win out for us not to be promoted. So, I'm going to give it to us. Boys, we are back in the Premier League. Wow, that is very satisfying. But Bristol City, they're not going away. So, now it's between us and them for the league. Oh, this is going to be tight. This is going to be exciting. So, what we're going to do here, I think, we're getting towards the end of the year... We have one episode, I'd say, left in this season. So, I will announce on Twitter when promotion is officially officially secured. But what we're going to do is we're going to come back 
whatever game, we can win the league. If that's Millwall away on the last day of the season, we'll do it then. If it's before that, that will be our next episode, will be the league decider, if and when we can do that. So that's it for this episode. What an episode it's been. Two wonderful wins. Uh, Please do give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and really, why would you not like it? Subscribe if you're new, and to go out, just to top off what's been a wonderful episode, here are our goals of the month for March.